in the previous video we stopped at sending the response as mail success and mail cancel so we are actually not sending any kind of mail to the user or to the admin of that page so now we'll be adding a functionality where we could send the mail to the user directly and also to the developer who has created this particular chatbot let's get started right now i have some assets which are email png then there is an html message which will be sent and there is another html message will be sent to the user now we have to add a python code which will be inside the file named as your tells click on add and right here you can see inside the utils folder there is a utils.py and now we'll be adding a function which will send the mail to the user that will be creating a function send email it will take three arguments first is subject which will be string and then there is email which will be string and the another one is content which also will be now we'll be using email package to send the emails and also the smtp so for the message data we'll be using email message import this directly from the email and right here in the email message data we'll be adding subject as we have received it subject and just after that we'll be grabbing the username and password both username is the email id this all thing will be kept in an envelope make sure you add it in the environment instead of directly adding it as a hard coded message data from and the username will be fed from os environment and the name will be and for the password it will be os dot environment and path. so in the from will be adding the username and inside the to which is of the recipient will be adding the email which we have received can also rename it as recipient email just like this so it will change it and then time to add the data of the best so message data dot add alternative then the alternative will be adding content but as i said there is an email dot png so if you notice right here in the beginning of this video you would have seen there is no image link is been provided right here so what we are going to do if you already have a server and you have a storage in there you will be able to get a link out of it but for me it's in the local so i'll be directly converting it to binary and then adding it right here and we'll be needing an image cid that is message id we'll be creating so for that i'll create a message cid and it will be equal to make message id right here first imported from email utils and to get the to get the image cid you have to add the domain so domain i'll be adding as xyz.com you can add any of it just make sure it doesn't exist so the content dot format so in the format we'll be adding image cid equals image cid so this is the variable name you can find it right here inside the brace bracket and since the format uses the brace bracket make sure don't add internal style because it will be using brace bracket and now we'll be adding subtype subtype will be html just like this so this is the section where we add the image cid and now it's time to create a function which will convert the image into binary so for that i'll create get image data right here i'll be receiving the file path from where i have to grab it and now i'll use with open file path and rb let's read in binary as image like this we'll be reading all the data and returning it to the function send image but we also need the main type and the subtype so for the main type and the subtype we'll be adding it as meme type dot guest type and there add the image data dot name to get the name and from there use the zero index split it with forward flip. this way we'll get two things that is main type and the subtype and we'll be returning image data dot read the whole thing which is present and the main type and the sub just like this and now we'll be calling right after this this particular function get image data and to keep it easy i will i'll use os.path to get the path 
directory dash path equal path or dot path dot real path dash dash file double dash and then we'll import path path dash. so this path will be of this particular files directory from there we'll be using f string this path dot parent slash asset slash name slash email dot p and now getting all the data out of it image data comma main type sub type and, and now inside the image data we have to add the payload first get the payload and dot first get the payload and then use the zero index i particularly use the zero index because the content added is on the zero index if you have added any kind of text message and then you have added this add alternative then it will be on first index so then add add relative add related in that first we'll be adding image data as image data then main type equals main type then the subtype or subtype and image cid equals image cid if you don't give this it's also all right make sure add this particular variables equals main type and subtype like that because that's necessary and now we'll be sending a mail to the user so for that we'll be using smtp lib dot we'll be using ssl to keep it secure and the host will be smtp dot gmail dot com and the port will be 465 using as email smtp for the smtp server dot login in the login we'll be adding the username and password and to send the message we'll be using send message don't just send mail use send mail. and there add the message so just like this we have created our own email function and let's move on with the actions which will send the mail to the user if the user has said yes right here we are currently on the actions.py and just before saying the mail success we'll be sending the mail so before executing the send email function we'll need some data so first is name get yeah, from the tracker name then email So right here i have all the details which the user has sent to me and now i'll be executing the send function send mail right here will be saying thank you for contacting us and the mail will be email and the content will be the html code so to get that as a string we have to create a function which will read it and give it to us so for doing it we have to go back to the details and add a new function which will give us the html data so it will be get html and save the file path as string with open file file path in the read mode and as html data and will be returning html data dot just like this it's just of two line but why did i created this function because the main purpose of it is to read the message data and inside the action you shouldn't add this all utilities so make sure you keep that in. so just before send email we'll be getting the data and make sure copy this particular code snippet don't want to add it again and again this part import each and everything that is needed now get html data function this will be adding as this path dot parent we'll be getting it from the utils slash user mail dot html make sure to import this and get this side the uh, content variable will be directly sending it to a send mail function we also need to know that if we actually have sent a mail or not to check it we will add a condition which will give us an accurate information if the mail has been sent or not so we'll be adding try and catch try an exception in python it's try an exception so try right here just after this we'll be returning true and we'll be catching the exception as accept exception as error and we'll be using logger to print so for logging it logging or uh, we'll be using logger variable as we'll be getting log logger from directly the name of this just like this and right here logger dot error error folder and also printing the trace back right beside the info section trace back dot print trace and we'll be returning it as false so just like this we created a mail sending function which will definitely tell us if it has sent it or not in the action we'll be capturing is mail sent and if is mail sent we'll be dispatching this particular data else we'll be saying 
sorry i wasn't able to send mail please try again just like that. so when should this get triggered so we are going to send the mail to the admin of this particular company or like to the particular team so for that particular purpose we will really need to send a mail again so right now for send email to the user we don't need to check if the mail has been sent if it isn't sent the team will check we don't have to check now duplicate this whole thing by clicking on Control D and make sure to update it properly and the content change it this to user content and admin content right here admin. and change this to admin mail and inside the admin mail we'll be adding some of the data which we have kept so in the admin content dot format there are four things that will be sending and if you if you saw on the starting i showed that this four things are there currently in the admin mail the first thing which is name so add that here equals name then there is email equals email there is phone number equals phone number i kept the variable name same so that it's easy to add them and just like this we have to just change this right here and change it to email dot let just like this we'll be getting the name of the person or the entity which has tried to contact us tried contacted us inside the email i'll be adding my email which is droid city zero email dot com just like this and this way we created a function and a functionality which will send the mail and check if it has been sent or not if you have any doubts make sure to add them in the comment section and give this video a like and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching